Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Uh, too bad the Mohammedan he left. You know he knew I'm going to be live in three minutes so he decided to flee before we start talking about his stupidity. You know the answer is some people they you know they decide to to play clown when we ask serious questions. And this is how the clown function. I we speak about everything except the topic. We showed the Muslims in the previous two videos that Muhammad is telling a story about David being saved by a spider, which is a fiction story from the books of the tradition of the Jews and Muhammad copied it word by word. And then in the previous video, and we showed them the reference from both, from Jewish legend and from Muhammad Hadith. And then we showed them in the previous video, Zakir Naik himself is speaking about the call of nature miracle. I mean, have you ever heard how a human being can be so crazy? Call of nature, stones and trees, the prophet, he ordered the stones and the trees to go and surround him so he can do poo poo. And what is the Muslim response for that? If we read the comments of the Muhammadan, you will see this. This is the guy who was in the in the in the chat. Just I, I think he's still there, but he will not text now because he knew I'm live. He is saying in this video that how could you that doing call of nature? How ridiculous are you? This is what the video is saying. The video is saying how to do the call of nature. This is what the video was saying. <laughs> okay, look like I have to uh, find the video again, you know, to see if you are saying the truth maybe maybe this christian prince he is ridiculous you know he says saying stupid things you never know i mean the abdul he is teaching us what the video is saying so what, what's wrong let us see if this abdul is i mean the ridiculous is how you muslims run away from embarrassing things so what is embarrassing suddenly it is we we get it wrong the the, the video doesn't say what you are saying let us see this Prophet Zakir Naik, peace upon him, what he will say about that. <clears throat> All right, give me a second. We will play the video again and everybody will see how silly and how embarrassed you are. The question was, there is somebody asked Dr. Zakir Naik, peace upon him, Prophet Zakir Naik, uh, that Prophet Muhammad don't have miracles. How come? Upon him did not do miracles like the previous prophets. To say that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did not do miracles is totally wrong. There are various miracles that the Prophet did. For example, the Prophet. I like it when Zakir Naik is a various uh, brother sister. There is various miracle, and because the Prophet Muhammad did miracle, it various miracle. Okay, did you see that? So they're talking about miracles, not about how to do poo-poo, you idiot, liar. Shame on you. Are you an adult? So the question is, how come Muhammad don't have miracles? Not about how to do poo-poo. Listen carefully. He split the moon. Oof. It is mentioned in the Quran, Chakul Qamar. True. He split the moon. I mean, it's true. He split the moon. Yeah, look at it. And even scientifically today, if you do research, you come to know uh -huh. that the moon has got fissure. The so, yeah, the, the moon, there is a cut in the middle. You know, there is, a, you know, like, you know, they asked me why you have like, you know, the, you have scars, etc. Uh, because, you know, uh, you know, uh, Allah split the, you know, I mean, that's it. I mean, those scars, not from fighting and knives or no, brother, those are from not bullets. No, those are uh, split the moon. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what the reason is. But since the Quran says about Shakkul Kamar that the Prophet split the moon, he did. There are various, there are, there are, there's a book written. Listen carefully now, Abdul. The one who said he is not saying that the stones and the rocks and the trees move around him to cover his bum when he's doing poo-poo. You said he is just teaching you how to do poo-poo. 
This is what you said. This is your text, brother. Be carefully. He is saying in the video. He is saying what? In the video. Let me. Uh, okay. He is saying in the video. I like your video, by the way. Video. Video. That how you could say that doing call of nature. How could you say? What? This is what the video is saying. How ridiculous you are. And don't, uh, I don't continue. I think this is saying contenting you, you know, the video. It's okay. I mean, my English is funny too. So we are two now. Two more we can play cards. So he do not continue the video. If he continue without uh, passion, uh, you will discover the guy is a scam. What video scam? The video is like, here we go. This is the title. Go download it. Play it. It's five minutes. And we are not, uh, what uh, we are, here we go. This is the title. Uh, did Prophet Muhammad PBUH had no miracles? Dr. Zakir Naik. Okay, what? Uh, so, uh, brothers, sisters, you get it wrong. This is not about the call of nature. This is, this is teaching you how to do call of nature. This is not about miracle of the call of nature. Listen carefully. He talks about the miracles of the Prophet, and there are a couple of hundred miracles. Couple of hundred, brother. There's a couple of hundred, brother, brother, miracle. Hundred of miracles. But the Quran says he have no miracles. All the, all the Quran says there's no miracles. Mention in that, hmm. that the Prophet spoke to animals, the, the various. The Prophet spoke to animals. The Prophet, he could not even, you Muslim, you claim that he do not know how to write, how to read. You see, when the Quran, this, just to show you the stupidity of the of, of the of those who claim to be scholars, if Allah did something, Allah he will mention it according to the Quran. Isn't it in the Quran it says that Allah he taught Sulaiman the language of the birds? Did Allah say that in the Quran, Muslims? You will say yes, correct? Okay. Oh, this is different. Where is the website Quran Wow? This is Quran Wow. Wow. I mean, you a perfect Quran. All right. In the Quran it says that Allah He taught Sulaiman the language of the birds. Why Allah in the Quran don't say we taught Muhammad the language of the birds? Is it a secret? Which one is more important to tell his story? Read carefully. And we taught, we were taught the language of the birds. Who? Solomon. Okay. Why the Quran did not mention once that Allah, he taught Muhammad the language of the birds? As long as I can is saying that Allah, because if Muhammad speaks the language of the birds, that means Allah, he taught him. Okay. And as you see, it's something you learn. It's not like, you know, be and he was. No, he, he will send you to school. Like he sent you to the chicken in school and buck, 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 buck. And this is mean, okay, I have, there's an exit coming. So we were taught the language of birds. Okay. Why the Quran does not say Muhammad, he been taught to the language of birds. No where it says that. So obviously this is a fabrication in the hadith. Muslim they added later about Muhammad. The Quran is so clear saying there's no miracles. And the funny was to show you the stupidity of Islam that Allah he taught Sulaiman the language of the birds, but yet Sulaiman he understand the language of the ants. I mean, I send you to study the language of the birds. You come out from the school speaking the language of the ants. I assure you that this is, was an Arabian school. It must be, because this is those things happen only to us, the Arab, you know? We go to school to learn French, we turn out, you know, we speak English. English, if you can say so. So Allah, he sent, he taught Sulaiman to speak the language of the birds. And to, why Allah, he taught Sulaiman the language of the birds? Because his troops is involved the following brigade, brigade of a human, 
brigade of birds, chickens, turkey, and the genie. Genie, genie. And look at translation here, spirit. In Islam, there's nothing, it's called spirit, you liar. This is genie. This guy, he's trying to cover up. Let us change, oh, this is itani. Here we go, itani. Itani potato. The word genie became a spirit since when? Idiot. And we are gathered before Suleiman Solomon, his host of jinns and men and birds. This is the Lord of the Ring movie, you know? And uh, okay, so Allah, this is why Allah, he taught him the language of the birds. I mean, imagine Suleiman, he will order his army of chickens to attack, like attack, pop, 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 you know, takbir, you know, they will go. But if you don't speak their language, how they can communicate? So Allah taught him the language of the birds. But guess what? Look like the birds and ants speak the same language. Most likely it was like English in their time. It's like most, like international language, obviously. Hello. I mean, he sent him to school to study the language of the birds. Yes, the guy, he went out and then he heard the ant. And by the way, the ant don't talk. I mean, since when the ants, they talk. The ants, they, we can say they talk, but not really. I mean, they communicate. If that is what talk mean, yes. But here it says he heard her speech. her speech and the ant she said to the ants she said the ant she said ants they communicate by <clears throat> by vibration or by chemical tuck 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 vibration you know what vibration it's not even a sound you know vibration which means they feel it it's like morse it's not the sound who make them communicate it is the vibration or chemical, like if they have a like a, a rail for food, so they will leave certain uh, a chemical to say there's a food in this direction. So, but it says that he heard her speech. You see, if you change the translator, you will find a new translation. Each tra Muslim translation is a story by itself. It's a new Quran. Just to change the transla translation or translator, and then you will find the Quran change. Look, this is big tal. Okay, Bikhtal, how are you? Huh. New, new translation. Till he uh, reached the value of ants. I know this value of ants. I used to go there, you know. But now because of Corona, I cannot go. Otherwise, I you know I have I have a good friends there. Many ants, you know, like we used to go together. Yeah. So when you go to the reach to the value of the ants, an ant ex exclamed, ex what ex ex exclamed, what what is this? Oh, ants. I mean, look, new, new Quran. Change the translator. Each one of them, he put his own potato. By the way, I think, I think all of them, they are liars. Not none of them translated the Quran. They are just changing words to make themselves their translation a little bit different from the other trans, which they are copying. So, which means all of them, they are copying from the first translator and just changing words. And at the length, at the length, oof, 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 oof. what is the word length in Arabic? At the length when they came to the lowly, lowly. I like you, Loli. Lolila, valley of the ants, one of the ants. What I like it is not all the ants, only one. You see, the Muslims, they say scientific miracle, but there is only one ant she alarmed them. The rest, they are like, they are asleep, maybe. The guardian ants are asleep. There is only one ant. Say it. He and get into your habitation. Let Suleiman is going and host is going to crush you. And what is driving me crazy? How she knew the name of Suleiman. I mean, I got it. She saw an army is coming. I got it. They have horses, etc. I got it. And then she spoke to the ant. I got it. But how in the world she knew that his name is Suleiman? I thank you for the one is teaching me how to pronounce it. My friend, if I know how to pronounce it, trust me, nobody will watch my videos. The best part of my videos when I do mistrans uh, uh, pronunciation. Come on, don't 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 fix it. If you fix it, you will ruin it. Trust me. <laughs> you have no idea. Anyway, so how she knew the name of Suleiman? But anyway, this is not our topic. But as you see, Allah when He taught Suleiman the language of birds, He said that. And here you see, even Suleiman He checked the birds. There's a general. His name is Hupu, and he is missing. I don't know if you know how the hoop or the hoopoo 
hoopoe look like let me show you how the hoopoe look like and actually the the story here makes sense by the way honestly it makes sense uh because if you look at this bird how he look like uh search okay here we go let us see the here we go unbelievable look do you see why why they choose him to be a general in the army look at him he looked like a roman uh, general I mean, look at this. I mean, if this guy don't fit to be a general in the army of Suleiman, who fit? I mean, this guy is born to be a general. Before even he get, get from the egg, he have those things. He is like, I, I'm a general. Like, you know, what's your name? General Hubububu. What? Hubububu. Like in the Pink Panther, like Hubububu, you know, Hubububu, shampoo. It makes sense. I mean, this guy, he is in charge of the army, of the birds. So Suleiman, he come to check on him. And he said to himself, what is the hubu hubu bubu? And this guy, he was away looking for a woman for Suleiman. She have no hair in her legs. You know, we have to be honest here. We men, we don't like women with, with, with hairy legs. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> come on, this is common sense. Yeah, us Muslims, yeah. So common sense, brother. But the problem for the Muslims is not this. All the garbage we show them is not a problem. The problem is Jesus is not God. This is the problem. Suleiman have a flying carpet, it's not a problem. Suleiman, he went to school to learn the language of the birds, no problem. Allah, he sent two angels to teach black magic, Harry Potter, no problem. The sun set in murky water, no problem. The sperm coming from the backbone of the man, no problem. Women have a sperm coming from their ribs, no problem. The sperm became a congealed dead blood, no problem. But Jesus as God is a problem. genius and then this guy you know like he did not stop there i mean this guy he knew a lot of stuff i think this guy he is like you know uh, first of look look what he said let us go I'm, I'm sure he is watching by the way he left because before i go live because he knew we are going to talk about his comment <sighs> i don't know what to say now This channel use fake material by the name of Islam, not f from Isa, from Is from Isa, from Islam, from by the name of Islam, not from Islam. What does that mean? This channel is funded by a known organization. If 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 if, and why it's unknown? I mean, oh, what's what's wrong with you, Muslims? Unknown, everything is unknown. Allah knows best. Everything for Muslims is unknown. I mean, at least give us a name. I mean, just like that's it. Now, don't you hang up in the air? So, we are funded by organization which are just tell us. Do you need my help? Be honest with me, Abdul. Please, do you, do you need my help? Are you talking about this? Be honest. Is that what you meant? I mean, I was wondering which organization is going to support us. And I was thinking, like, which one is fit for the program? Okay, first, he lives in America. Secondly, he voted for Trump. And number three, he have guns. Uh, number four, uh, he likes shooting. Uh, number uh, five, uh, you know, uh, he said he was in the army. I mean, obviously. I mean, do you need really to be genius to find out? But it took you so long, man. I mean, I was expecting you to know that from the first second. It took you so long. And please, next time, I mean, don't don't tell those news for people. I mean, people, okay, now people will leave. This channel is funded by a known organization, brother and sister. You know, <clears throat> I think it's a moment to share the truth with you. 
I don't know what to say. I think it's time to, to share the truth. You cannot hide it forever. I mean, you guys, you deserve better. Hold on, I'm receiving a call. Okay, they just told me I cannot share this information with the public. Sorry, guys, I, I, I apologize. I cannot say to you anything. Like, I was going to tell you, you know, but now you get the idea. There's nothing, we are not organization, and there's nothing like this. And all what you heard is fake, and this is not true. And this call, I'm receiving a second call. Okay, sir. Okay, uh, he, uh, okay. I will not play the message in public. Sorry. Yeah, I. You know, I should not. Yeah. Okay. I. I got you. I will not. Yeah. I. I am. By the way, I am the best in my organization. At the first, like the the highest IQ. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay. I will not play the message. Okay. I will. No. 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 I will not play this. Uh, the third message. If you send me more, what you have more? Uh huh. What? I'm fired for playing the message in public, but those people they don't know what I'm talking about. It's like boop 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 boop. Like, oh, how would they even know what we are talking about? What's wrong with you? What I was translating? I didn't. Oh boy. <coughs> so your Majesty, you discovered that this channel is funded by unknown organization. That's deep. You are dangerous, man. You are dangerous. Okay. And then, uh, unknown organization that want to prepare you to follow the coming Antichrist. If, 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 if. Is that, is that Muhammad? My friend, who is Antichrist? The one who destroyed his churches. The one who convert them into mosque. The one who attack his people, the one the Bible says, who is the Antichrist? Is the one who denied the Father and the Son. So your prophet is the Antichrist. He's not the Antichrist actually. He is an Antichrist, but not the Antichrist. Oh boy. Hmm. Anyway, we continue with the comment. I hope you guys do not know much now about my job. And uh, by the way, just to let you know, 07007 is not my code. Just to let you know, this is what's just a movie, okay? Yeah. I mean, those things, because I know you, you know, I know you. You want to make a story from nothing. Uh, let us see here. He said here, and this is why I made this video title like this. I mean, after all the, the madness we showed him, Muhammad, he said, did you know that Unitarian Church teach Jesus is not God or Son of God and was wash, washing? <laughs> washing what? Was praying, maybe. Was praying to God, bowing and kneeing just like Moses. Like Moses, not like Muhammad. <laughs> My friend, those are not Christians. Secondly, even those, they believe Muhammad is a fraud. So thank you very much. I mean, you try to save yourself. Those people believe Muhammad is a fraud. That's why they don't follow him. However, for us, we laugh at them. Because Jesus said, what Jesus said? This is the Bible. If they have a Bible, should read. And the Bible says clearly, Jesus said to the Jews, what do, you, what do you think of a Christ? Who is he? They said he is the son of David. He said to them, well, if he is the son of David, then how David he called him in his spirit? The Lord Jehovah said, the Lord Jehovah said to my Lord, sit at my right and uh, my right hand until I place your enemy under your feet. So if Jesus is no one, is just a man, then how he is called by the Lord a Lord, and how he is called by sorry by by uh, uh, by David as a king, he's a king. He's call, he calling him Jesus as Lord, and then the Lord he said to my Lord, who is talking David. And then it says here, if therefore David call him the Lord Jehovah, how he is his son. 
This is Jesus talking. Jesus is speaking to the Jews saying, well, if Jesus, if, if Christ, he is the son of David, then how come David call him my Lord, my God? Do you see it? This is the Aramaic translation, which is more accurate than the rest because this is coming from the plain Aramaic Bible. I will post the link for you. You see, the problem is most of the translation they say to you, it says the word Lord. But the fact when you say the word Lord, there's, there's, a, there's a Lord, which like, you know, in English, you have capital letter, right? To make it about God. And you have a small letter to make it about a man. So when you say Lord with capital letter, supposedly you are talking about God. But in fact, in the original language, the word is, there's, they don't have, it's not really Lord as Lord. It is about Jehovah. It's about God. There's certain words is used to present, to speak about God in the Hebrew or in the Aramaic. So when they translate to you, they translate to fit with the language they are going to use. So we use English. So what we do, we use the word Lord with capital letter to tell you that this is what it's meant. All right. Uh, so anyway, there is many, uh, many, uh, you know, heretic and many, there is Jehovah's Witnesses, you know, they believe Jesus is an angel, is an angel Mikael. There is Muhammad, he believed that Mikael, uh, sorry, there is Jibreel, is the Holy Spirit. So he, they are not the first, they are not the last. There is many, many liars in this earth, and your prophet is one of them. Hmm? Your prophet is one of them. How the how the Holy Spirit became Jibreel? Is Jibreel is a holy first? No. How many holy you have in Islam, Muslims? Is it the angel they committed sin in the Quran and Allah He ordered them to bow down to Adam? So how you call Jibreel holy? He commits sin already. So listen carefully to the Muslims when they say to you, "Oh, there is a church," but you yourself you will not follow that church. Do you follow it? So let us say for the sake of argument, Jesus is a prophet, according to you. Why you don't follow Jesus, but you follow Muhammad, a crazy man. A crazy man. This guy is a, is a mentally ill. When Muhammad, he told this story, and, and Zakir Naik is telling us the story. Listen to Zakir Naik, brother. Zakir Naik, and look how he is. <sighs> Guys, do you see when you are a person of knowledge? Do you see the influence of the story in your face? Look at the face. Look, please, at the face, brother. Uh, there is no God, only but Allah. Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, my friend, uh, uh, proud to be Muslim, do you like to call me? Do you like to call me? Let me, let me put your text in the screen. Uh, t is, uh, smile. Smile, please. Oh, you are a girl. Uh, well, as long as you are a girl, I'm not going to talk to you because your prophet, he said that women are half a brain. I don't believe in that, but it's what your prophet, how much respect you. You are a kind of girl. Look what your prophet said about you. Oh, we are typing in English. This is how your prophet, he speak about you highly, saying that you are half a brain and most of you are in hell. So when you say, when you say what you said to me, you are a proud Muslim. Are you proud that most of women in Islam, they will go to hell? Is that what you said? There's no God, only Allah. But you just said there's no God. This is the statement itself is stupid. Either you say there's God or you say there's no God. So you are half atheist, you have believer. There's no God. I mean, even the Shahada of Islam is a stupid because when you say there's no God, that means there is no God. Here there is no God except Allah. But how there is no God except? You say except when there is God. <laughs> if I say all the cars are burned except one, it means there is cars and only one is not burned. So when you say there's no God, 
But Allah, you just said there's no God. So how Allah can be a God? There's no God. The one who created the Shahada is an idiot. Now let us continue with you. For he do not know that Jahannam is waiting for even the word Jahannam is a theft from the Bible. Jahannam is the valley where, where the Jews, they burn the garbage. Any Muslim can tell me what the word Jahannam means? Is that an Arabic word? Even this one is a theft. Ah, we have Ishaq Yusuf saying to me, you are ignorant, you are ignorant, you are jahil. Okay, hold my friend. Thank you very much for giving me a license to be a jail. Does that mean I do not know how to write and how to read my name? Like your prophet? Smile. If a person is a jahil, which means ignorant, how you believe in him to be a prophet? You're a prophet who have no prophecy. He do not know how to write, how to read, which means literally he is an ignorant. Literally. Going back to this woman, she said, I am kind girl. Look what your prophet said about you. You will go to hell. He said, oh, women, give it charity. Or oh, they said, why? He said, they said, why? No, he said, because the majority of you will go to hell. The dwellers of the hell fire are women. Do you see it? So if you are a woman, you should be the last one to believe in Muhammad. And then Muhammad explain why you will go to hell. And if you see the reason he gave, you would die laughing. He claimed that you have no, you will go to hell because you have your period. And because the Quran says you have half a brain. And this is why Allah, he says, two women equal to one man. Have you ever heard that you are not full of brain and you will not go to heaven because you have menstruation and because of that you cannot pray like the rest of Muslims so you have deficient in your religion but isn't it Allah who make you have your period and if you are made to be half a brain as Muhammad he claimed well isn't it this a deficiency made by Allah so what's your fault you're treated with love with your family okay so what does have to do with Muhammad is, is Muhammad is your dad? You are 19 years old, is still signal, single? Huh? You are not following the Sunnah. Your, your prophet should, uh, according to Islam, you should be married at the age of six. Look, in the front of you, they ask him, what's wrong with us? Why we have deficiency? Why we have deficiency in our wisdom? He said, oh, isn't it the Quran, the proof of that says two women are equal to one man as witnesses? That's mean you have deficiency. Do you see it? And isn't it true that when you have menstruation, you cannot fast Ramadan normally and you pray in Ramadan? He said, yes. He said, this is your deficiency in religion. And imagine he is explaining why you will go to hell. And Prophet, what's his deficiency in her internet or religion? A woman, she asked. He said, <laughs> hello. The testimony, the proof of that, the testimony of two women among you, like the testimony of one man. Deficiency in the brain, you see? You are half a brain. Two women equal to one man. And the deficiency in your religion, you have been stressing. And he is explaining why they will go to hell. But both reasoning, even if they are true, have women have nothing to do with them i mean if she have if she is half a brain as muhammad saying well isn't it allah who made her this way why she will go to hell for that reason if she have a period well isn't it allah he made her have a period why she will go to hell for that reason obviously the one who have half a brain is the one who come with the story muhammad peace upon him right Anyway, you have to be understanding very well that all the information you will see here in the screen is funded by an unknown organization. Disclaimer, disclaimer. All the information you see in this channel is funded by 
النون اورجنايزيشن اني مستمع ذا كومنت نوبدي I mean, how we can refute this unknown organization? Hmm. <sighs> Where is the guy who is proud to be Muslim? Are you still proud? Okay, let us go to proud to be Muslim. Maybe proud to be Muslim, he can explain to us what's happening. Is it true, proud to be Muslim, that when your prophet decides to do poo-poo, Allah Prophet, he ordered the rocks and the trees to move around him so nobody can see his bum. Look at this amazing miracle, brother. The tree came and shaded the Prophet when you're going for the call of nature. There are various miracles. The trees and they came to shield the Prophet when he doing the call of nature. The call of nature. Nature is calling. This is a true. Is that a fake material? Muslim, is that a story is a fake material? That when your prophet, he wanted to do poo-poo, he ordered the trees and the rocks to move around him so he can uh, yeah, yeah, peacefully. I mean, look, Zakir Naik, he mentioned that the prophet have a couple of hundreds of miracles. From all this miracle, they chose for us the poo-poo one. I mean, come on, Zakir Naik. From all, you just said he have couple of hundreds of miracles. How many? Hundreds. And from the hundreds, you choose this one? Not do miracles like the previous prophets. Look at this smile. How cute. To say that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did not do miracles is totally wrong. <laughs> totally wrong, are... brother, sister. <laughs> totally wrong. Look at his head, he's how shaken. Totally wrong, brother. <laughs> you are ignorant, you don't know what I come about. It's totally I'm going to show you now a miracle nobody have ever <laughs> had to do with poo-poo. <laughs> Even when the prophet actually I can show you tons of reference about poo-poo at the prophet. The earth swallow his poo-poo immediately. When the prophet he do poo-poo, the earth open wide and he swallow his poo-poo. And his you know his 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 face smell like musk, and now the prophet wanna do poo poo. Do you see how much Allah he care for a prophet? Everything his poo poo his face. I mean Allah he made his face like musk. <sighs> prophet, what is that prophet? Uh, 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 the ZB, I was pissing. Are you sure, Prophet? It's like it smells so good, man. Yes, sir, my piss is, uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, Allah, he transformed my piss to. So while Jesus was making the water into wine, Allah was making the piss of Muhammad into musk and perfume. And actually, yeah, when Prophet Muhammad, he received Al-Fatiha, which the Muslim, they pray, each time they pray, they recite it. Uh, he was taking poo poo. If we go to the interpretation, and again, the guy, where is the guy who said this is fake material? I, li I like you, man, fake material person. <laughs> fake material, huh? What? A, uh, fake material, huh? Okay, let us see the fake. See, this is the official government of the kingdom of, of, of Jordan. It says here, brother, that each time the Prophet of Allah want to get out, <clears throat> get out what get out to do the call of nature he hear a sound and the sound saying oh Muhammad read carefully whenever he went out hear translation for the word baraza baraza is coming from the word buraz buraz mean pupu used to hear someone calling him oh Muhammad and whenever he heard this he used to flee <laughs> he go like a clown 
And Waraka the Nofal, which is real father of Muhammad, advised the Prophet to remain in his place. Muhammad, come on, next time you hear the sound, stop, man, don't run. Embarrassing, why are you running? Coward. Remain in your place. So he advised him to remain in his place when the caller called him. So he that he hear what he want to say. Then he said to him, I am at your service. The caller said that to Muhammad, I am in your service. Afrid. Has a Afrid. Innahu Afrid min Afarid Allah. You know what Afrid is? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Many of you don't uh, understand what uh, Mafrid is mentioned in the Quran. If you go in the Quran and you look for the word Afrid, you will see here a true story about Afrid. This is, by the way, this one he was one of my cousins. This Afrid, very well known. He's very fast, you know. It says here, chapter 27, verse number 39. Afrit, he said, he's Afrit. He is Afrit. Unbelievable what Afrit can do. This Afrit, he was called Afrit because he is so fast. You see, there's many kind of jinn, but this one is Afrit because he is so fast. Actually, the verse itself saying to you why he is there in the story. He said to Solomon, if you want, I can go bring you this woman before you blink your eye, which means he will go all the way to Yemen and come back before even Suleiman, he blink his eye. Afrit. Afrit was sitting with Suleiman. Hmm. Any Muslim want to say to us, we are using fake material? Afrit is a genie, yeah, but he is very fast, Afrit. He is the kind who can go really fast, you know? Very fast. Those are true story, by the way. I mean, with this Afrit. I mean, okay, these days, Amazon is using Afrit to deliver. Yesterday I ordered something, today I will have it. Just wait, I'm, I'm waiting for somebody to knock at my door. Afrit will come any moment. This Afrit is called UBS. In USA we have Afrit. They call it UBS. Very fast, you know, you make an order, ding, 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 you knock at your door, you know Afrit. True story. Allah is talking about Afrit. This is religion. And this Afrit can go and bring the women from her chair before even you move from your place. How fast he is. Uh, Roka Musas, the earth is a flat. Okay, prove it to me. Do you like to call me Roka Musas? Right, life on air. You show me the verses in the Bible says the earth is a flat and we will laugh at you. In the same time, we will show you the verse from the Quran saying the earth is a flat. This verse is that. Now a flood worldwide because angels uh, raped uh, women and earth versus Quran earth where, where it says women uh, can you just do you like to call me Raka Musas challenge for you do you dare you show me a verse from the Quran I will show you a verse from the uh, sorry from the Bible I will show you a verse from the Quran I will answer you about the Bible and you will answer about the Quran do you dare it's a new Quran where it says the earth is a flat all over. It's a new Quran which says that the earth was covered by the flood. It's a new Quran, it says, in your religion, it says that Allah, he sent two angels, their name is Harut and Marut, and they have sex with Venus. Do you want me to show you? Are you chatting about the unseen? What do you mean unseen, my friend? This is unseen. Genie is unseen. Afrit is sitting with the Suleiman. Afrit is unseen. 
<laughs> and look guys look how the Muslim they change topic you posted something why you don't challenge me Raka Musa you said something why you change the topic you said the earth is flat in the Bible you said the, the, the earth is covered by water in the Bible you said angels have sex with rape women you said what you said secondly you change the topic now look Islam follow the same word of God uh, that Adam Noah and Abraham and Musa Jesus taught pure monotheism. Well, we are the one who believe in monotheism. You don't. The Quran says, if Allah, he wanted to have a partner, we will take it from ourselves. If Allah is one, Allah will partner with ourselves. Ourselves who? Huh? If Allah will take a partner, this is your Quran. Allah, he says, he will take it from ourselves. Who is ourselves? When we ask the Quran Muslims why Allah keeps saying we, he said we because this is majestic. Well, it's, it's, so it's fit for Allah to be we, not one. That will make him majestic. <laughs> Look how silly that they are. So if we will make Allah majestic by saying we, well, isn't it better than the Muslim to agree that Allah is many? Because that will make him majestic. But if we go in the Quran, we will find and this is Tafsir Jalalain, not my, not my Tafsir, chapter 21, verse number 17. It says, How do we desire to find a diversion that which provide diversion in the way of a partner or child? We would have found it with ourselves. From among the beautiful eyed Huris. Allah calling the beautiful eyed Huris and the angels are ourselves. Any Muslim? Where is the oneness of Islam? How Allah can take partners with ourselves? Explain that to me. Please uh, say the correct translation. I mean, my friend, who uh, we have a topic now. Any Muslim have a comment? If Allah is one. How Allah will take a partner from ourself. Explain ourself to us. Remember, Allah is one. When I say us, when we, you know, when the Quran say us, the Muslim, they say Allah say us, he don't mean us as like he is many, he's one. Here is going to take a partner from us. How you can solve this problem? Anyone? How Allah will take a partner from ourself, from us. Who, are, who is the partner will be? Us who? Additional to that, don't forget that the Muslim believe that the Quran is divine. Muslims, is the Quran created? The answer, no. Mm -hmm. Is the Quran created by Allah? No. Uh -huh. So now we have two and created Allah and the Quran. Is it true that the Quran will come in the judgment day as a man? Yes. So who created that man? Allah? No. <laughs> so when the Muslim he speak, you know, everything they accuse you with, it is their belief who believe in it. They are the one who believe the earth is a flat. Right now in front of you, I can take you right now and we will see the earth is a flat. Right now, as we speak, here we go. And remember, this is your Islamic website and this is your Islamic interpretation and this is your Islamic translation. We have nothing to do with it. Nothing. You know what nothing mean? And after that, he spread out the earth and he made it a flat, brother. Do you see it? Where is the guy with the flat earth? And this is why Muslims, you believe that you can face Mecca. You have to face Mecca from every direction, even if you live in America. Like the Jews, when they go for war, because they are defending, defending their, their, the border of their uh, city, they face their face to the Jerusalem to pray, but it's there in front of them. But Muslims, when they face Mecca, they face it where? because they believe the earth is a flat. 
And actually, there's tons of videos made by Muslim scholars saying clearly the Quran says the earth is a flat. Right? There's a lot of bad verses in the Bible. You know, and this is what you are saying. I mean, look who's talking. I just showed you the Quran. The Muhammad says you are half a brain. Look like you are proving that Muhammad is false because if you discover such a thing as you claim, that's mean you are not stupid like your prophet, as you say it. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? But anyway, you know, we have to admit that Muhammad is a special person. And he is a special, especially when it's come to his private parts. I mean, his, this guy, his miracles are frozen. But the second you get close to his private part, his bum, his private part in the front, his nipples, miracles will happen right away. He did not do miracles is totally wrong. There are various miracles that the Prophet did. For example, the Prophet, he split the moon. It he split the moon. You know what the Christians did after the moon split? Do you know what they did? I saw it with my own eyes. You know, if you remember, in the year uh, 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 630, uh, there is no more crazy glue in Walmart. Like the product is this effect that disappear. You can't find a crazy glue anywhere. Why? Because those are Christians. They bought all the crazy glue to glue the moon together. He split the moon. And they could not sleep until by the morning the moon was put together. You know, like they, 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 they like, you know, the Christian, they can go to the moon. You know that, right? You know, not like the Muslims. Until now they are. They, if they go, they, they are going to borrow, you know, like the Emirat, they have a guy, he went to the space. And who is the one, you know, the, the engine is made in uh, Russia. Uh, uh, the, <laughs> the designer. Anyway, so they have the money. So, uh, yeah, yeah, brother, he split the moon. He split the moon, brother. Until now, if you go and ask NASA, the moon is split. Listen. It is mentioned in the Quran, Shakul Kamar. Shakul Kamar. The Quran, Shakul Kamar. It's a true story. And even scientifically today, if you do research, you come to know. Yeah, it's scientifically. So, scientifically. This is even scientifically today. What? That the moon have got fissure. The it's got a good fissure in the moon. So definitely now. This is scientifically. So it's very obvious. This is a very certain, 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 you know, certain piece. What do you think? <clears throat> Any Muslim? Yeah, you know I did not play the, the the other part of the video. Let us play what what uh, what Zakir Naik will say. I don't know. Previously, was the age of miracles at the time of Musa alayhi salam at the time of Isa alayhi salam. Ah. Most of these miracles because at the time when the Quran was revealed, it was not the age of miracles. If 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 if. But a second ago, you still spread the moon. I mean, the guy he just said Muhammad have hundreds of miracles. This is in the beginning of the video. After less than a minute after he said in the time of Muhammad, it was not the age of miracles. I mean, this guy, he changed his statement 180 degree in less than a minute and 20 seconds. Isn't it in the same video? He said, Muhammad, he have hundreds of miracles. And now after a minute and 21 second, he said this was not the age of miracles. I mean, what kind of hashish they are taking? It's not even a minute and a 20 second after you said, Muhammad, he have hundreds of miracles. And now it's, it wasn't the age of miracles. That's mean he denied all the miracles. There's no miracles. <laughs> all right. Uh. I offered them one million Venezuelan pesos. 
don't remind me about the pesos please yeah oh boy so the, not the age of miracle why the age of miracle expired is that the is the is the, the, the ice age <laughs> Brothers and sisters, when Prophet Muhammad he came, it was not the ease of miracle, brother. So now he's explained why Muhammad don't have miracles, but in the beginning he says end of miracles, not the age of miracles. We Muslims do not boast of these miracles because yeah we don't. We make books about scientific miracle in the Quran. He himself he have a book about that. We have millions of videos saying scientific miracle of the Quran. We don't boast those miracles. We don't. We don't because at the time. Uh huh. When the Quran was revealed, it was not the age of miracles. It was not. Previously was the age of miracles. Previously, brother. Previously. At the day of Muhammad, there's no miracle. Why? Because Allah, he decided, like, okay, I'm going to go into a miracle no more. Actually, this is what the Quran said. The Quran said, we refrain from sending miracles because former generation, they treat them as false. <laughs> what a false excuse. Until now, people believe in miracles. Isn't it Muslim, they believe in miracles too? So how how what kind of excuse this excuse is? Huh? Oh boy! Not the age of miracles. We are still here with the Afri. You know what? I forgot the topic of the Afrit. Forget about Zakir Naik. This Afrit is better now. I want to show you the Afrit interpretation from Ibn Kathir. Chapter 27, verse number 39. Hold on, we can go back later. 27. I mean, how I'm, how I'm going to skip the Afrit story? All of you are Afrit. All of you. You know, in the Middle East, if a kid is so, like, so uh, active, etc., they say he's Afrit. Afrit, you know, Afrit, you know. Okay, so he's Afrit. Let us see the Afrit. Hmm. Uh, so uh, uh, Ibn Kathir is saying <clears throat> O chief which of you Solomon he said can bring me her throne look at Suleiman he want to steal the throne you see that's an Ocean Eleven movie they want to steal the money from inside the casino Solomon he was a thief they told him that her throne is gold and diamonds and etc. So right away, Suleiman, who wanna bring me her throne? And bring it to me before they come surrounding themselves obedience. You know, uh, uh, Solomon he said, Give me your throne or I will kill you all. Then one of the Afrit, the, the Afrit, the genie, he said, a giant jinn. Afrit is a giant. It was as if he was a mountain. If, 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 if. I mean, this is the genie was giant as a mountain. Please, please, I cannot resist the temptation to say the Sahada. I'm going to say the Sahada immediately. This is must be true. There is a genie, he's an Afrit, they call him Afrit, and he's so fast, and he is so big, and he is big as mountain. Makes sense, he's going to carry the throne, throne of, uh, you know, it's so big too, you know, it's like 20 floors. And then he said to him, I'll bring it to you before you raise from your place. Ibn Abbas, he said, Allah bless him, huh? before you get up from where you are sitting. If, if, if. Look, he explained it now. I mean, look at the explanation. The explanation where it says, I'll bring it from your place before you rise from your place. Ibn Abbas explained it. How he explained it, he said, before you get up from where you are sitting. If, 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 if. I mean, this one, this is deep explanation. Isn't it the same sentence, you idiot? It says before you get up from your place. So what he changed with your setting? So this is the explanation now. Okay, and then he says here, others he said, he used to set to pass judgment and ruling over the people and to eat. 
if, 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 if. This is the only time he said. Suleiman, he used to say it, to pass judgment and ruling over people and to eat. The rest of the day is standing up. It's so beautiful. This is astonishing information. Suleiman, he, like this guy, he's a stand-up comedy. Suleiman, he don't, he, he don't like to sit. He sit only to eat or to rule over judgment. Like he's a, he's a judge in the court now. In the rest of his life, he's standing. Suleiman having sex, he's standing. Suleiman doing poo-poo, he's standing. Suleiman is praying to Allah, he's standing. Suleiman making judgment, he is sitting. Suleiman is eating, he is sitting. Now we understand the situation of Suleiman. Obviously, Suleiman, you have a problem with sitting. I feel sorry for him. Ah, I don't want to forget. Suleiman, brother, when he die, he die standing too. Who remember the story? I should make a movie. It's called The Man Who Dies Standing. <clears throat> Suleiman, he have a staff. You know, a stick. Like the one you use it as a ruler, supposedly. So when he died, he died standing over his stick. And his wives, his ministers, his soldiers, shaitans, genie, nobody noticed that he is dead. Because he was standing still. Isn't it beautiful? And how they found out that he is dead? Anyone remember? Who remember? How they found out that Suleiman was dead after a while of his death? Whew. Guys, if you know the story, you will die. Uh, not from laughing, from being ast you know, astonished. They notice, brother, that he is dead because of the termite. Yes, brother. The termite. And now from this story, we understand the wisdom of termite. If not the termite, if not the termite, until now we will think Suleiman is alive. Standing still. If you go to chapter 34, verse number 14, Please show respect to the Quran. I mean, come on, it's a true story. Those are proving scientifically to be true. You can be dead standing in your stake and nobody will notice for years. And when they, we decreed, then when we decreed Solomon's death, nothing showed them his death. If, 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 except a little worm of earth, which kept slowly grounding away of at his staff. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to have a stick made from aluminium. What they call it in, uh, in the English? Aluminium or something, you know? Aluminium. This way, if I die, the Muslims will never know that I'm dead. And I will stand, like, okay, I will go in the stage, brother, and I'm holding the stick, I made from aluminium. And the Muslims are like, okay, Christian Prince, are you there, Christian Prince? Uh, maybe Christian Prince, they don't want to answer now. I mean, the guy is dead for, you know, six months, a year, whatever, according to the story. And yet nobody noticed that the guy is dead just because he's holding a stick. And then how they knew? Because the termite, they were eating the stick slowly. Do you see the word slowly? I like it slowly there. I mean, if you don't say to us slowly, how we will know how long it took? How long is going to take the ants or termite to eat that stick, which is a stick of made from a very fancy wood of a king?
Now, what the Muslim, they will say to us, this is fake story. It's Quran. It's fake. It's Quran. It's Daif. It's Quran. It's Daif. It's Quran. It's Daif. Now, any of you took reference for this verse? How many of you took reference? What chapter is this chapter? What chapter this one is? You know, in the Middle East, there's two things can eat your steak. Either that are might or your wife. Because women in the Middle East, they eat anything. Like, you know, don't leave it in front of anything. anything don't. Give them money, they will eat it. Unbelievable. So Prophet Suleiman, actually, you know what? Why I want to explain to you? Uh, uh, what about I show you the interpretation? Shall we show you the interpretation? If you see the interpretation, you will die laughing more. So, okay, chapter 34, verse number 14. Take a note. 34. Beautiful Quran. I love this book. I mean, this is book of knowledge. A lot of knowledge there. And you say to me, this is not from Allah? <laughs> Crazy people. There's nobody can come with such a story like Allah. Brothers and sisters, and when we decree for him, for Solomon, death, in other words, when he died, in other words, he remained supported by against his staff for an entire year, brother. For how long? For an entire year, brother. Like what? I mean, don't you think you, your lie is so big and wide? Entire year. Who won the link? Who don't believe me and won the link? May Allah link you all to it. Entire year. The guy was dead standing and nobody noticed that he is dead for an entire year. Like his wife, she come to him. Honey, don't you want to go to the bed? He don't answer. He's standing. Okay. The prime minister, the minister, the head of the army, nobody noticed that he is dead for entire year. You know what? I will tell you a story about my grand, 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 you know, grand, 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 grandfather. He died and his family did not notice that he is dead for more than 500 years. I know many of you will not, you know, will be wondering, like, how in the world this happened? 500 years. The answer is very simple. My dad, which was not exist yet, he showed him my picture. And the man, he dies standing. And he's, he's, I mean, he's burned from inside. So no termite can eat him. So he stands like this, 500 years. He, this is how scary it is, you know. They showed him my big sir. The guy like, is dead. And now even no termite can eat him. 500 years, brother. True story. So the guy, Suleiman, he was dead. And this is in the Quran. And nobody noticed that he was dead for a year. And then Mrs. Termite, they start eating his uh, zucchini. I mean, his steak. While the jinn, look, look at the story. Look how deep, man. The genie continue to toil hard labor as was customary and aware of his death. You see, because genie now, if they knew he's dead, they will run. <laughs> he's dead. The boss is dead, you know? <laughs> Look at the wisdom of Allah. Unbelievable. Until finally, when the termite ate through his staff, he fell to the ground. Oh. Oh, honey, you are listening to me while you are standing. <laughs> you, are, you might die laughing standing too. <laughs> Unbelievable, so beautiful. 
That's so good. So this reason is so good. Science. This is science, true stories. And this is, remember, this is Quran. You see here, here we have more details, but the Quran saying that. The most men say this is a weak story, this is fake, this is this is a true story. Now you need to ask yourself, if Muhammad is not a prophet, how he knew a story like this about Suleiman from a long time ago? Do you know how Suleiman? Suleiman is four years older than me. So there's no way Prophet Muhammad he would know about Suleiman because he wasn't even exist. What is the source? The source of the Quran, chapter 34, verse number 14. And the interpretation we are showing you is Tafsir Jalalain. But anyway, the interpretation is not adding too much except like it's saying for a year. But even the Quran say that it was for a period. And nobody noticed. And why Allah didn't make them notice? Because as you see, so the genie keep going, doing the work. But the question here, as long as he will fail at the end, don't Allah notice that the termite is going to eat or they are eating his, his steak slowly? And then the genie will find out. So what the point? A look here it says. Yeah. So the termite they ate through his staff, he fell to the ground and then was seen to be dead. Nothing indicate to them that he died except the termite of Al Ard. Al Ard mean the, the earth. The termite of the the ground uh, is a variable known in the you know so you're giving the, the source of the word in Arabic. And then he says it is a piece of wood was eaten away by termite of the earth that gnawed away at his staff and etc. Uh, etc. Et story. Hmm. Oh boy. Do we have any Mohammedan wanna say anything? And look, the Muslim there is is uh, is busy. Christian Prince faces over internet. Uh, Zakir Naik face over the internet. What the face can do to you? You saw my face? So why you Muslim you say you are hiding your face? Potato? You don't know how I look like. I look I, very good looking like Allah. Any proud Muslim? So think about it. Those are the stories in the Quran. So when we say to Muslims, this is how stupid Islam is. They will say to you, Jesus is not God. And look at the stupid story. Jesus is not God. You are reading the porn section in the Bible. Let me take a selfie for you, because that is interesting. You know, you remind me of Ahmad Didat, he said the same. Ahmad Didat, he said, is that a book of porn? And later he found in the same chapter the name of Muhammad, Muhammadim, in the Song of Songs. Isn't it Didat, he found the name of Muhammadim in the Song of Songs? Is that the chapter you are talking about, the porn? <laughs> and as long you found that the Bible is the book of porn which is very interesting so why your prophet and you are talking about the Old Testament so why your prophet he took an oath in that porn book do you think your prophet is a perverted man look what your prophet did This is your prophet taking an oath on the Old Testament as it is one piece. He came to the Jews and he said to them, they asked him a question about the Torah. He said, bring me the Torah. They placed a cushion for the messenger of Allah who sat on it and said, bring the Torah. It was then brought. Then he would draw the cushion from beneath of him. And he placed the Torah on it saying, Abdul, are you with me? You are the one who just said, this is the book of porn. It's you who said that, not me. He said, I believe in thee 
and in him who revealed thee. You're a prophet taking oath by the book of porn, as you call it. How embarrassing. I feel you, my friend. I feel you. You have nothing to say. You have nothing to answer us. However, we go back to the termite.